Thank you. Woo! You hear a funny what? You guys are maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Liar. Funny story about that song that we just played is we played it with the uh, Yo Gabba Gabba Live Tour. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> if you think you guys are crazy, try a thousand one year olds. Anyway, the first night that we played it, um, Justin on the keyboard over here suffers from horrible migraines. <laughs> and uh, so he started getting one of his crazy migraines right before we played. And we were behind this big screen that said, like, it, um, it said, listening to music and dancing is awesome. And there was like a hundred foot screen that spread apart and then we popped out with like DJ Lance Rock and all this stuff. <laughs> and right before we popped out for the first time, Justin, can you do a quick impression of what you were doing? Was I on the ground? I don't know. Your face was on the keyboard and you were saying, I'm going to fucking barf. <laughs> looking at him and we were like, oh no, because cause here's the thing, sometimes you like meet someone like you're on a date and they're like, well the reason why I'm so poorly adjusted is because when I was two years old, my parents took me to see Yo Gabba Gabba and I had this weird indie rock band and one of the guys in the band projectile vomited like the exorcist all over the stage. And ever since then I haven't really been able to commit. So the point is this. I can't hear you. It's, that wasn't the point of the story. Like even a little bit. Are, are you? Are you? Are you? Like, can everyone calm the fuck down, please? I feel like I'm talking like a crazy ant right now. Do you guys just want to yell upset at these, or do you want to talk like people? Because we can do that too. No one's taking their shirt off. Yeah. Why are you raising your hand? Are you talking to me? Point is this. He didn't throw up on the stage. The point of my story is that Justin Healy is a real professional. And whenever we play that song, because when we toured um, last winter, we played that song every night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we really haven't played it since, except for kind of right now, and a couple days ago. And so the memories of that song have become strange, because one might think that they would be memories of, like, long, tall, you know, red things and Broby and DJ Lance Rock. But in truth, they're memories of figuring Justin might vomit on some kids. <laughs> is the first thing that comes to mind. And the second thing that comes to mind is a bunch of um, 18 to 30-year-olds uh, dancing like two-year-olds. <laughs> so needless to say, it's a very interesting experience for us. <laughs> you guys want to do a road song?
on me when I left. <laughs> I loved your show. <laughs> Evan has this backup, which... <laughs> You guys remind me of the time that I saw he just got that into you at one in the morning in Times Square. <laughs> People were just talking uh, during the movie. They were just like, we should do that later. <laughs> and then things would come on screen and like, Big people, small people, white people, black people, Jewish people, myself, I started talking. <laughs> it just seems so normal, which kind of makes you understand how horrible genocides can happen. <laughs> so literally, like, like something would come on screen like a dog, and people would be like, dog, dog! <laughs> I swear to God, one time someone was like, dinner! <laughs> Evan, yeah, it's cool, right? <laughs> you don't have to live with him, alright? Before the show tonight, Evan asked, asked me not to make fun of him because apparently I did in Boston on stage last night. Aww. Aww. So I'd like to turn the mic over to Daniel Silbert over here, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, you don't have him for years. Tell us something about him. I don't understand. It doesn't these, I don't understand how these uh, intimate Q and A's have turned into roasts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know we're waiting. Donald Trump's coming up in a second. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened outside Temple Beth Shalom in eighth grade? <laughs> in, in, no, in, in, in the front of Beth Shalom. I, I, I'm gonna take the fifth. One. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think the story they're referencing is that Evan um, hooked up with his first um, person besides himself outside the temple. That's so long. <laughs> the one story we've managed to tell at every show in the past week. I know that story. Evan! He knows the story. Evan! I still love you! Just letting you know that's ending up on YouTube. Somebody said, just let you know it's going to <laughs> Which is exactly what's going wrong. <laughs> Quick anecdote, which I also said last night about YouTube. When I was younger, I went to see Green Day. <laughs> Green Day! <laughs> I know, I said it. Um, and all of a sudden at the show, Billy Joe just ripped his shirt off. And I was like, cool. And then he <laughs> ripped his shoes off. And I was like, that's cool also. He's like killing the music. He took his pants off and I was like, cool. <laughs> And then he ripped his dick out. <laughs> and it was cool. But um, the next day I went to school, um, Solomon checked your day school with Daniel and Evan from New Jersey. And I said, last time I went to the Z100 Jingle Ball, and Billy Joe got naked on stage. And they were like, prove it. <laughs> and I was like, I can't. But now, it would have been all over YouTube. And what was my quote yesterday? Lady Gaga can't fall off a fucking piano without everyone else saying something like that. Yeah. Which, which leads us to hopefully getting Daniel to take his shirt off. Uh, JK. I forgot what part of the song was. Take it off. Anyway, this long-winded um, moment really was leading up to, to us saying thank you to everyone here for being here tonight. This is a very special show for us. Thank you for playing our record with us from the bottom of our hearts. This is it. Don't you know I was resting under the track? Because I know 